seed, seed, seeds. Look here, all kinds of seeds. Each one of these has got a bunch of other packets in it. Um, of all kinds of stuff. Just lots of different seeds. So there's there cilantro. Uh, some of this, I have no clue if it will grow here. Um, some of it just won't. Some of it um, has different pests that will attack it here that's maybe different from back home in the U.S. Um, all I can do is just give it a try. What does this say? Summer squash. I'm definitely going to try that one right there. Summer squash and what? Oh, black beauty. Okay. Summer squash, black beauty. I'm definitely going to try that. And actually, I bought this here in the Philippines. That's 66 pesos at all home. It's a lettuce they were selling here. And I don't think they'd be selling it here if it wasn't a variety that uh, would grow here. And it's actually, you know, a company with Philippine uh, phone number as well. So um, I'm going to give this a try also. I've just got so many different varieties that I'm going to go through here. And I'm about to go out and try some of this right now. Let me see what this other package is right here. What does this one here say? Oh, crookneck squash. Yep. Yep. Definitely want to try that one too. All right. Well, I'm going to go put these in the ground and we'll see what. So one of the first things I'm going to do to mark where I'm putting them at is I'm going to find me some scrap bamboo like this. And uh, that way I can kind of mark an area and know where I've already planted. Let me look here and see if I can find a few more pieces. All right, got me a handful of junk scrap bamboo. I see Miss Melinda coming up behind me back here. She's toting some stuff. Ah, oh, she brought me a towel. And it looks like she got a little dish rack to organize those dishes inside. I think I'm going to start that squash just right up here in the corner. Black Beauty Summer Squash. Uh, I'm not gonna, probably not going to plant a whole bunch of these. Uh, use one of these pieces of bamboo to kind of make me a hole. Spot there. All right, I put a few seeds inside, and I'm gonna mark that one right there. Make me another little hill of it down here. Yeah, maybe about right here. nice thing video on this is if I want to remember where I planted what I can go back to the video and watch it myself so this is the summer squash that I'm planting here and we'll put another marker or another little mound of it here the trick is keep those kids from coming along and yanking those up
All right, that'll give us a start right there. And I'll go pick out the next thing that I'm gonna plant. So I'm a sucker here again. What did you see? Who got one? Ah, uh, I knew Marvin would have one. Yeah, Arlie. What about Uncle? No luck. Oh. Yeah, these little faces show up here, selling these little treats. And then they got the bodyguard here with them, security guard. <laughs> See you later, girls. See you later, girls. <laughs> I am such a sucker. I said, when they bring some, I'm not going to buy it this time. Um, but how can you see? They're smart out there. They're smart. How can you say no to those children? Well, PLDT's here, and I'm ready to try to get some internet. Okay, so it's a matter of crossing my fingers now. Um, they said, here for this fiber that there's only a limited number of ports in their box out here at the highway. And uh, they said they just installed the house, the new house right up the road here from me. And this one right here next to me also has PLDT. So I'm hoping I can too be in the PLDT fiber club with them because I need some good internet. It's pretty important. It is pretty important. So there he goes. He is going to go check and see if we have an available port for our neighborhood right here. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Y'all root him on, man. Tell him, make it happen, make it happen. Well, this is the Philippines for you right here. So they come set up a little booth up here by the Barangay Hall, PLDT home fiber did right and they're promoting for their fiber line they have out here in our area now well i inquired to get it two of my neighbors got it i inquired to get it, and they said we have to see if there's a slot available so turns out that the box here in our area only has eight connections available that's right that box for this area only has eight available connections. Can you believe that they bother to set up a booth to promote PLDT fiber and all you can offer is eight lines in this area and then five streets down the road there's another box with another eight lines available and they're full 16 people out of thousands of people here that is crazy and he said if somebody don't pay their bill and they get disconnected they'll take their line and give it to me man you know what if somebody had a mistake and just missed the payment or something you know boom you lose your line for good oh man i just don't know i don't know i don't know what's going to happen on this deal and said that the engineering is looking to put another box there for another eight connections. Well, how long will that be? Are we talking about days, weeks, months, or years? Well, he started it like this. Well, I wouldn't say years, so that means months. Oh my goodness. And he couldn't even promise that as the any time frame when. Ah, uh, why, why mark it? Why market? Why advertise? You've got TV advertisement going. You've got internet advertisement going. You've got boosters setting up, promo, promo. And for what? They have no lines available. 